This is Manifesto Check. Welcome. So, we're spending some time in the zone goals, and it's for good reason. My colleague Dennis Barberi Wedam is here with the details. Dennis, what do we find? Um, so, today we are happy Ramadan to all our Muslim Indeed. brothers and sisters, especially those in the Zongo communities, because tonight um, this is something that uh, will interest them. But before we start, let's hear from the vice president somewhere in 2020, October 2020 exactly. Mm -hmm. where he had said something about what they intended to do if they came to power into power in 2020. Let's, let's listen to the Vice President first, then we take it from there. This was ahead of the 2020 elections? Yes, ahead of the 2020 elections. Okay. Every region is a model senior high school Amazongo communities. And I can say that and you're mochiri na yebesi amamu. And you're mochiri na yebesi amazongo for yebesi schools. Na yen kuano omanya nindia. Yen pem mochiri yepe free education. Yepe schools. Sana yepeno. Enti mumbuayeng. Na yesu yenti mumbuamo. Minim se asokore zongo yetu abana MPP nwini mi pamocho this election 2020 mumfama MPP muvoti mana na kufuado oh, so that's the vice president ahead of the election 2020 and let me just put it on record that this the source of this video is a city newsroom yes so that's right. what you saw there the city TV yes, yes. so you 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 may have heard the uh, vice president say that when they come into power, they're going to build some model senior high schools in the Zongo community, 16 of them, one in each region. He had also mm -hmm. made some comparison to what the NDC had promised the Zongo communities at the time. One okay. of the things they said they were supposed to provide uh, some mortuary facilities to help them facilitate. That was the NDC's promise? Yes, it was part mortuary. of the promises they made too, okay. which became quite popular. So that's why he was making that comparison and that contrast. Anyway. But this was what exactly was captured in the manifesto where they said that over the next four years, we will, through the Zongo Development Fund, in collaboration with Get Fund, build 16 model senior high schools in Zongo communities across the 16 regions of the country. So it was mm -hmm. very emphatic, 16, um, region, 16 model schools, one in each region, and this was going to be done in the next four years, meaning from 2020 to 2024, they would have, I mean, each region would, would have, have got a model senior high school in, in the, I mean, in the Zongo community in a Zongo community in each region. So 16 of them in all. So what's the page of, of the manifesto? So this page 154 of page the MPP. 154? Yes, 154 of the MPP manifesto. Okay. So um, after this, mind you, they said they were going to do this through the Zongo Development Fund, which was, of course, a promise that they had made, that they were going to set up a fund which would be purposely dedicated to the development of Zongo communities. Okay. Because in their view, the Zongo communities were marginalized groups that they were... Um, not getting as much development as they would, mm -hmm. but then they needed a special attention. So for that reason, in 2017, they passed the Zongo Development Fund Act. In 2018, uh, it was assented to by the president, and it started running thereafter. Mm. Somewhere in 2022, they will set up a board. The vice president will swear in the members of that board, 11-member board. One of the things that he would tell them there uh, at the swearing-in is to ensure that they put up these Zongo Development, I mean, um, the models senior high schools mm. but in between um he's had reason to also still make further assurances that the promise was indeed in motion and that they haven't forgotten about it so this is Baumia again in january 2022 where he had said that in fact we have begun a program to build 16 model senior high schools for zongo communities one in every region of the country these are going to be first class model senior high schools that will rub shoulders with the best in the country. We are starting the first three in 2022, 
and rule them in due course. I see. So this was in January 2022. So the emphasis is on the first three yes. in 2022. So they had said they were going to start with three in 2022. And rule the others. Mind you, he had said what we saw in the video in 2020. Okay. So by 2022, he himself indicated that they were going to start in 2022 so, with three of them. So that means that as of 2022, none there was been none. built. Okay. Now, we have also been looking for information. It's been really difficult getting information. Mm -hmm. At least first, we just wanted to know exactly which communities have been designated for, for the project. So that when we come to Greater Accra Region, where are we going to have that model school? Okay. When we go to Ashanti Region, where are we getting that model school? Upper East, where are we getting that model school? But it's really been difficult. We, reach, we try reaching out to the Zongo Development Fund you, itself. That's what going on. Did you contact the Zongo Development Fund? Yes. We've been in constant communication with some um, persons in the, with the Zongo Development Fund. We've made calls. In fact, we've been asked to send a letter. We requested, we sent a letter to schedule an interview. So a letter has been sent? Yes. To schedule an interview with who? With the, the CEO of the fund. I see. And there hasn't been any responses no. as yet? The, so at first, we were asked to hold this? on the schedule. It was two weeks ago. Okay. Then we moved a bit higher to the, there's a secretariat, mm -hmm. which is in charge of, which is more like, now this is actually a project under the government machinery. So there's a secretariat at the presidency, which superintends over the Zongo Development Fund. Right. That's the Office of Government Machinery. No, this is a... So this captures everything with the gov, within the government machinery, okay. of which the Zongo, um, this project is a part of. Right. But I'm talking about a secretariat that superintends over the Zongo Development Fund. You know, there used to be a ministry. Mm -hmm. So when they scrapped the ministry, no. there's still somebody at the presidency who takes care of the Zongo Development Fund and all the projects that come under it. Fantastic. So we, we contacted the, the presidential advisor on the Zongo um, Development Fund. Who is this person? We, um, that's Honorable Ben Abdallah. I see. Yes. You spoke to him? We spoke to him. We met him in his office. You met him in his office? Yes. What did he say? So we wanted more information. Um, unfortunately, he scheduled us for a later date. We understand that they would only grant us an interview after they launch what the president had said they were going to do, a manifesto tracker of some sort, where they're going to put all the projects there. Okay. So they tell us that they can only speak to us after that has been done. Okay. But of course, we need to do what we need to do. Indeed. So the documents are available. So this document, for instance, is the Office of the Government Machinery. That's the program-based budget estimates for 2023. This has been useful to us because when you check on page um, 14, I think, yes, 14 of this particular page, it gives you a sense of what the government has been doing with respect to this particular project and what they intend to do. Mm -hmm. So... For instance, when you look at the first item here, you see improvement in Zongo community access road networks. Number of units they want to do is there, the length of road access route, baseline is this, latest status and all that. But that's not our interest. Our interest is the highlighted parts. And if you could take off the super so that we can see that, yes. So the mm -hmm. highlighted part is number of Zongo model senior high schools constructed. Baseline indicates that it is zero. Right. Latest status, the number there is zero. Target, as of 2023, three. Indicative, that will be for 2024, four. So at least per this document, we know that it is a target, as of 2023, for them to have built three, three. of them. Okay. At least we know for a fact, per this document, that in 2022, zero. Okay, zero. 2021, zero. So this is a document from the government owned Yes, this is, a, this is Office of Government Machinery. machinery. And, the, and that's the source. And that's the source of it. And so it so, actually highlights a number of things. But I mean, for so, tonight's discussion, our emphasis is on the number so of Zongo Zongo. 2023, all things, what we understand, all things being equal, based on the face of this document. Three, if, it, if three, this was realized, if this was there realized, would have been three of them. As at end of 2023. Yes. And so that's what we're expecting, an update of. Yes. If, and that was why we needed to have a conversation to know if indeed at least these three were realized and where they are. Which regions are the first beneficiaries of them? Okay. But and that's what what's they said we next? wait for the yes. launch of the, the launch of the manifesto, manifesto tracker. tracker and thereafter we can have a conversation. Not just on this, but the other things that are the, the Secretariat is working on together with the Zongo Development Fund for okay. the Zongo communities. So let me understand this. This promise to build this 16 
model model senior high school so it goes beyond 2024 so the promise says that within the next four years so this is the exact promise but then what over the showing... next four years we will through the zongo development fund look it's here i see but what you're showing show me that document again and the breakdown and the number of the, the number of the uh, so school this is it so I see 2023, three, 2024, four. That's so the 2023 seven. is a target. The target? So, yes. Oh, yes, it should have built three, yes. right? Because, and, and I want our because this document at... is a 2023 document. Mm -hmm. As of, this document was actually prepared or released in June. So we are hoping that the next document of the 2024 will be released in June. I see. By which time we will see the update of this. But at least for this, by 2023, we, they, we, we are aware that they targeted three. And the maximum they could go was to deliver three. Okay. So for our viewers, let's focus on the last um, the pink. Color. The, the, the row, I beg your pardon, the last row. The wet, that's the which has been colored. The, the, the pink. Pink. Yeah. Yes. So 2023, you see three there. And 2024, you see four. Yes. The number of modern schools constructed. The target is four. Mm -hmm. And I see 2025. So Five. those are indicative, like this is like futuristic. So that when that's what I'm saying. So it goes beyond 2024. Yes. Okay. That is because when let's go back to the when you look at the estimates done, mm -hmm. the document is for the medium term expenditure framework. It spans from 2023 to 2026. 20, 20, 20, 20, yes. So that's okay. how come when you are looking at the estimates that they do, it goes beyond. The, the year that we have, yes, 2024. But of course, the promise has a timeline mm. where they say over the next four years. four years. So in our situation, we are looking at this within the context of 2020 to and 2024. 2024. So I just needed to establish that, that, that right. even though the promise, the timeline for the promise is four years, 2024. But it doesn't just end here mm. because they had said that they were going to do this together or through, I mean, in collaboration with Get Fund, we also needed to check the get fund distribution formula. Because anytime get fund gets its funds, they also have a formula like we saw yesterday where they made an allocation to the teacher's laptops, they made an allocation to the one tablet, one student. In that particular document, there is also an allocation for this particular project. So this may not be too visible. But you can read it yes, for us. Yes, but you can read it for us. So when you check here, you see construction of model schools. And this document is distribution formula get fund 2024 okay so where you see the pink line when you come to 2024 there's an allocation of 99 million eight hundred and fifty two thousand ghana cities for 2024 i see when you trace it to 2023 there's nil interesting so it means that get fund who is a collaborator in this did, did not, not allocate, allocate anything in, for 2023. Interesting. Where they were expected to have executed three, three schools. We'll find out the source of funding if they, if they did construct three. Yes. The target. After they launched the manifesto tracker. Exactly. We are doing our so, manifesto check. And where those three are. And if not, where they are supposed to be or where they are okay. going to be. And not just for the three. The rest of the 16. Fantastic. And, and good stuff there, Dennis. Appreciate you for this one. Thank you to, together with the team. Thank you. Thank you so much for this one. And for viewers who are sending us messages uh, to have copies of these documents, if you go on our Facebook page, TV3 Ghana on Facebook, you would see the playback of Manifesto Check. We always put every episode of Manifesto Check on Facebook, TV3 Ghana, and also on YouTube. So you can do a playback. You would see the document visible there. Thank you, Dennis. This is Manifesto Check. We'll be back shortly after this quick break.